actually, when I first started out in college, I wasn't going to be a teacher. I was going to be a physical therapist. I was a bio major, and I uh, worked real hard to avoid it. Uh, but my parents and my aunts and uncles were teachers, and one day I took an education course, and I got bit by the education bug, and I've been uh, teaching ever since. So. Yeah, I, it's just one of those things where I've really been interested in the process of learning and I didn't think it would catch me on so strong, but I stopped being a bio major, went straight for education, and I've been teaching since. I, making them a bigger part of what they're learning, so in terms of um, getting them on hands-on into what they're learning, getting them working with, uh, if it's money or math, manipulatives in their hands, um, pictures that help them connect their ideas, ways to help the kids be able to build discussions with each other, so lots of language-based activities, but most of all, finding ways to help it connect with their own lives, so it makes, it makes sense to them, it's more relevant that way. our first year with Open Best, so um, it's so far a really good experience. Hey. I do, I do, um, especially in second grade with seven and eight year olds, they tend to uh, have a sort of a limited idea of what to do with their money, so just being able to work with it in different ways and talk about the different ideas of why money is important is, is kind of a nice, nice way of them sort of getting their, their feet wet in the hole. I think it was the opportunities they got to think about um, what a budget is, what money is, what savings is, and how it was going to impact them personally. I, Anthony wanted to get a dirt bike. Uh, a few other people were thinking about college. A few other people were thinking of just you know saving up money to have a big birthday party. But just ways in which money personally connected with them and how they could use it in their lives. The idea that not only can, is money good for getting things we want and maybe things we need, but also that it's a, it can provide a sense of security. Um, when, uh, when things get difficult or that surprise happens or hey, when I grow up and I, all of a sudden a tire blows on the car or something I need to spend money on, I have um, something that will, will provide that security when, when times get difficult. So just that idea that having a nest egg, having a little bit extra money on the side that you have saved can uh, give you that peace of mind.